Thank you for joining Stamp It Up with Kathy Goodman. Today we're going to make an alternative card to the July 2020 paper pumpkin. I ordered the Summer Nights add-on kit that came with the card bases. So we're going to take a card base and we are going to add the Ferris wheel to the bottom. We're going to put that on dimensionals um, before we add it. And um, to start off with, let's go ahead and stamp our Oh, the Summer Nights are alight with everything magic and bright. We're going to use our Night of Navy ink. So we're going to ink that up. And then we're going to put that in the middle of this card. If you notice, I'm using my Stampin' Pierce mat. Um, that is very handy to use when you're using photopolymer stamps, which are the clear stamps. Um, it gives you a better image. So if you have problems with getting your photopolymer stamps to um, the images to come out dark enough, or um, if parts of it look like it's not stamping. Um, if you get a Stampin' Pierce mat or um, just put a magazine underneath, a lot of times we'll correct the problem. Okay, we're adding our um, regular size dimensionals to the back of this. And you want to be kind of generous with them because you don't want your Ferris wheel to look like it's sagging and broken. Okay, we'll put another one in the middle here. And then this over here, I think I'll use um, a small one. That way it won't show. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to take we're going to not take the paper backing off of it yet. We're going to use that to place our sentiment. Okay, so now let's put liquid glue on the back of our sentiment. We're going to go around the edge just like that. And then we are going to place this on our card front uh, right about here. That looks good. You always want to make sure when you're using the darker color inks that you give it a minute or two to dry because otherwise if you run your fingers over it right away, sometimes it um, it smears. Okay, now we're going to take the paper backing off of our dimensionals and we are going to place this on our card front as soon as we get those all removed. And then we will decorate the inside of our card with some cool looking lanterns. Okay, here we go. We've got this right here. Looks pretty good. Okay, now let's add some beautiful gold stars to our card front. We're going to put one right here and these have adhesive on the back so you just need to press them when you get them placed where you want them you can um, gently put them down and then once you decide you've got them where you want them then you want to press firmly that way they'll adhere to your card front look how pre how beautiful that looks with all the shimmer of the gold very pretty. Okay, now let's get our Whisper White sheet for the inside of our card. And we are going to get a piece of gold. Let's see if we can find our strip of gold that we have for the inside. Let me get that. Here we go. I thought I had it already pulled out, but I didn't. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some lanterns and we are going to 
thread those through our let's get some more lanterns I don't have enough I got two of the same color and we don't want two of the same color so let's get a different one Let's do a purple one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you wanna make sure that you punch out the center of those. We're going to take and we're going to thread those through our little gold piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dot of glue on the each of the ends and then once we put this on our the the card base the inside of our card then we'll um glue our lanterns down where we want them okay we're gonna go just like that and make sure we try to get it even uh, uh, it doesn't look too bad okay so once we get these on here we want to trim off the gold if it extends past the um, whisper white inside layer then you want to cut that part off Just, there we go okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit a dot of liquid glue and we're going to put it behind each of the lanterns once we get them arranged where we want them. Let's see this one. Let's do it off to the side here. Just like that. And this other one. We're going to move it over here to the side a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we have a couple of gold stars. And we are going to put one right here. And one over here. And these are just the punched out gold stars that came with the kit. There. Now what we can do is take and put liquid glue around the outside of the card base. And we're going to put this on the inside of our card. And this is where the part where you can write a message to a friend or loved ones and send them some beautiful mail. Everyone could use a pick me up at this season in our lives with all the stuff that's going on. Okay, so here is the card that we just completed together. Oh, the summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright. And on the inside, we've left plenty of room for you to add a greeting. And here's your envelope. And if you want to add another lantern to the outside of it, you can do so. Decorate it up and then address it and send it out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our paper pumpkin edition of Stamp It Up with Kathy Goodman. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.